This is Bangkok, the capital city of Thailand and one of the most successful cities in Asia. It is the economic center and heart of Thailand and is most famously known for being a top global tourist destination. In fact, several magazines and publishers have named the city as one of the best cities in the world for travel and leisure. But what makes Bangkok stand out isn't just how big its tourism industry is, but how big its economy is as a mere city and its role as a future financial hub of Southeast Asia. Now, before we move on, don't forget to leave us a like and follow us for more videos. The country's capital is one of the biggest cities in the entire world. But just a few decades ago, in the 1970s, it only had 3 million residents living and thriving within the community. Surprisingly, only 50 years later, it has grown to over 11 million people, which represents 15% of the overall population of the country. And what's more is that the city itself contributes way over 30% of the entire country's gross domestic product. This was led by its strong tourism industry, which keeps the city's businesses alive and well. Although, due to the recent pandemic, the city has been devastated by the immense travel lockdowns around the world. Its largest airport, the so-called Suwanapum Airport, had over 65 million total passengers in 2019, but by 2020, it had gone down to just 16 million. Thankfully, however, tourism isn't the only industry driving the economy. There are far more industries out there. The Bangkok metropolitan region is a strong export-oriented manufacturing industry, often dubbed as one of the largest automobile and electronic production hubs in the entire world. The massive shift from a former agricultural-based society to a more service-oriented economy became the backbone of its rapid growth in the past, but the decades to come may lie in the modern industry. The future state of Bangkok is one of the most anticipated ones in the entire Southeast Asian region. This is being led by the country's most innovative economic model called Thailand 4.0, a mission that aims to create a rather new engine of growth. One of its key agendas is aimed to transform the traditional ways of living to a smarter and more technology-driven way. This would directly benefit the capital of Thailand by fostering innovation and improving the startups looking to change the country. Furthermore, the pandemic's effect on the way we use technology and the changing consumer behavior into accepting and living digitally has further promoted Thailand 4.0. A report done by Google estimated that Thailand had the highest proportion of new digital users in the first half of 2021. The infrastructure development of the capital city is also a key prime factor to its overall growth. The newly constructed central station, called the Bang Su Grand Station, took the entire region of Southeast Asia to a whole new level, as this new railway building became the region's largest ever. Moreover, there are also other exciting transportation projects to look forward to, such as the Bangkok Nongkai High Speed Railway, Bangkok Golden Grey Lines, and even a redevelopment of its former central station called the Hua Lampong Station. These are all being driven by the robust growth due to the rise of its population and tourism industry. Thailand and its capital are well positioned to take the next generation by storm. There are already clear signs showing this, from the country's growing demand for a better future and its current capabilities. But we believe the biggest sign is the country's shift from being foreign-reliant to more local-based on its research and development industry. We mentioned earlier that the country is a leading manufacturer in the automotive space, but one thing we did not mention is that the country has previously been relying on technology transfers from abroad. This is slowly changing, as the country is changing the way it invests its money. In 1997, the country's R&D spending only accounted for 0.1% of the total GDP of the country. But by 2017, 20 years later, it has risen to as much as 1%. This is just one of the key factors driving its future state. There are far more in the future, such as the growing number of technologists, engineers, researchers, and so much more. These substantial engines for growth are so essential, starting from its innovation to its growing world-class transportation system, is enabling the country to not only cater to the tourism industry, but also to be a global hub for future industries.